many times we shoot video in poor lighting conditions and as a result the video often has poor colors and is either too bright or too dull. Video Studio can fix minor exposure problems quite easily. Here's a video clip of my daughter playing baseball. Now unfortunately the video is a bit overexposed so let's see how we can correct this. Now there are two ways to do this. One way is to apply the correction on the timeline and the other way is to apply the corrections on the thumbnail in the library. So what's the difference? Well, if you apply the correction on the timeline, all your changes are deleted if you delete the clip. However, if you apply the corrections on the thumbnail in the library, the changes are always available. So let's demonstrate this. Let's drag the baseball clip to the timeline. Now click this arrow to open the options panel. Click color correction. Here you can tweak the white balance and make other color and brightness adjustments. Let's decrease the brightness a little bit and we'll preview. Now that looks much better. You'll notice a small square icon appears on the clip which indicates that a video filter has been applied. Now let's delete the clip from the timeline. And we'll drag the clip to the timeline once again. Now this time notice there is no filter icon anymore which means that our changes are lost. If you want to use this clip over many projects and you want to make sure that your corrections are preserved then you should make your changes to the thumbnail in the library without dragging it to the timeline. So let's go ahead and delete our clip and select the thumbnail. Let's bring up the options panel once again. Click on color correction. Notice we haven't dragged the clip to the timeline. Now let's make our changes. And now let's drag the clip to the timeline. And you'll notice that the video filter icon is there. Now let's delete the clip again. And once again we'll drag it back to the timeline. And you'll notice that the video filter is still there and it will remain there permanently until you delete the thumbnail. So the main point I'm trying to make is that changes made in the library are always available whereas changes made to the clips in the timeline apply only to that instance of the clip. Now say if you want to undo these changes and start all over you can simply click this reset button. And if you only want to reset a particular setting, just double click the slider. And one final point, changes made to the thumbnail in the library are available across all your projects and the physical video files on your hard drive are never modified. So remember, if you end up with a bad video clip, use Video Studio's color correction palette to save the day. Thanks for watching.